All right, uh, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the L's, GMS, salutations to all the Akim out there that's pushing this truth. Also, Shalom to the rest of the hopeful elect. And this is going to be a um, quick lesson, all right? Now, I'm, I'm going to name this vocab, could it handle Revelations 2 and 27? Now, when he was dealing with those brothers uh, down there in Virginia, right? They brought out this scripture, Revelations 2 and 7, all right? And this is the New Testament, okay? And um, the Old Testament, it speaks about slavery, whether it's uh, Numbers, the, I think I want to say 18th or 20th chapter. It speaks about how the other nations are going to go into slavery. It's even written in, in our law. It says, uh, uh, of, of, the, of the bond man, of bond of the bond man and bond women shall be of the heathen. You see, so it's written in our law. And when a kingdom is set up, guess what? You have to have slaves. That's any kingdom. Any kingdom that was ever established on earth, all right? It required slaves, all right? They had slaves. I don't care what kingdom it it it, it was, man. Okay? It was the Greeks, the Romans, the Persians, all right? The uh Babylonians, okay? They had another nation in slavery, and nine or ten times it was always the Israelites, you know, whenever a, a kingdom was set up, you know. I'm going to take that back ten out of ten times, especially since you're, uh, when you're dealing with the uh, major kingdoms that was uh, set up, all right, when you're dealing with Daniel's the seventh chapter, okay. And I'm just going to show you something. Now, this is the New Testament, right? And then you can link up with what? Uh, you can link this up with Revelations 13 and 9. But I'm going to show you, all right, how the scriptures, how these scholars, you know, uh, set up precepts, you know. They set up precepts, you know. But let's read this. This is uh, Revelation 2 and 27. He that overcometh and keepeth my words until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. As a matter of fact, let's check out that word power real quick. Uh... To Lear. Let's check out that word power and see what it says. Hold on. I'm gonna give power over the nations. Of... Okay. Let's click on and see what it says. Uh, power of choice. Liber, liberty of doing one as as pleases. Oh, see, liberty of doing as one pleases, all right? <laughs> uh, leave or permission. It says physical or mental power. It says the ability of strength with which one is endowed, which he either possesses or exercises. Uh, power or authority. Uh, power of rule or government, all right? And uh, uh, the scripture uh, speaks about, all right, speaks about the government, okay? When you read the book of Isaiah, man, all right? It says, uh, the power of him whose will and commands must be submitted to by others and obeyed. See, you can't get around it. It says, uh, all right? And to that mean, it says universally. It says authority over mankind. Uh, specifically, it says the power of of the judicial decision. It says authority to manage domestic affairs. You see, that's the power. All right. It says, uh, um, a thing to a thing subject to authority, a rule to addiction, one who possesses power, authority, a ruler, a human, uh, a human magistrate, the leading, the leading or power, powerful among created, being a superior man with spiritual uh, potence. It says the sign of a husband authority over his wife. But you get it, man. Somebody that's in power, someone that's going to rule over somebody, all right? The Lord said what? I'm going to give him power, all right, over the nations, all right? It says he shall rule with them with a rod of arm as the vessels of a potter. Shall they be broken to shivers, all right? And, hey, you're going to put our foot up there, as, as the scriptures say. It says, even as, my, even as I received of my father, all right? Now, let's hit this right here. 
let's go to cost references all right let's see what it says all right and we're gonna go down here it says correlated passage using the king james version all right this is psalms uh two and eight acts of me and i will give thee the heathen for thy inheritance or what or what for a slave and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession and thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, and thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 49 and 14, right? And this is the same chapter where it says that uh, that inward uh, thoughts is their, uh, is their, hold on, that inward thoughts is that their, uh, let's click it real quick. Hold on. There we go. Give me one second. Here we go. Verse 11 it says that inward thought in their house, in their houses, in their houses shall continue forever. And they dwell in places for generations. They call their lands after their own names. All right. Now that's reference to what the so-called white man. All right. He think he he think he's gonna rule for it. He think he's gonna have dominion o, 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 over the world forever, man. All right. He think he's gonna have the children of Israel in slavery forever. All right. Let's get understanding of, uh in the the, of the fourteen verses it says, like sheep, they are laid in the grave, and death feed on them. And death represents in the scripture is what slavery. All right. It says uh. And the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. You see? So we're going to rule over them. It says, and their beauty shall consume the grave from their dwelling place. All right? It, which, which means what, man? All right? Uh, the things that push off, Esau push. All right? The things that's 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 esteemed by, by, by Esau. All right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to all fall, man. All right? It's all going to be done away with. Okay? Psalms 149. Now let's get Psalms 149 and 5, all right? Like I like like it said, all it says, let's go back to it. Correlated passages using King James, right? So these are precepts. Okay. Psalms 149 and 5, all right? Which these are scriptures we always bring out. All right. It says, Let the saints be joyful in glory, let them sing upon their beds. It says, let the high praises of, of Yahweh be in the mouth and the two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments among the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetter, fetters. Oh, what's that talking about? Talking about slavery. Okay? You got to remember, the uh, book of Esther says what? The world was made for our sakes, man. So guess what? We're going to inherit these heathens, man. We're going to put these heathens in slavery. It says to execute upon them the judgment written. You see? Going to execute uh, going to execute upon them the judgment that's written. Okay? Which is written through all the prophecies. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Revelations. Uh, I mean, Isaiah the 14th chapter. All right. Revelations. All right. 13 and 9. All right. We're going to have slaves, man. Okay? It says... This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. You see? You can't get over that, man. Uh, Daniel 7 and 2. Until the ancient of days came, and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. You see? And the saints is going to possess the kingdom, but we're going to also possess slaves in our kingdom. Okay? It says, uh... <laughs> And she brought forth a man child, Revelations 12 and 5, who shall rule all the nations with a rod of arm. See, back to that rod of arm. And her child was caught up into Yahweh to his throne, okay? Revelations 19 and 15. It says, uh, and out of his mouth, see, and this, see, these are New Testament scriptures, you see? So, so it's crazy they always, you know, the, uh, uh, they don't like us using the the, the uh, Old Testament, all right? But the New Testament says the same thing, man, all right? And in the Old Testament, it's prophecies 
you know, just like just like it's it's uh it's 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 in the um New Testament, okay? It says uh Revelation nineteen and fifteen. And out of his mouth go off a sharp sword, and with it he shall smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and tread of the winepress of his fierceness, the wrath of the almighty Yahweh. See? You ain't getting around that either, man. Let's see. Uh, see, we'll see what it says. it says. Even Matthew. All right, let's read this real quick. And all things are delivered unto me from my Father. No man knoweth the Son but the Father, neither know of any man. For the Father saved the Son. Okay, but I'm doing this something else. Okay, hey, but with that man, as you can see, all right, it's either other precepts, all right, uh, the the scholars, the people that. That uh put together these apps, all right, and that actually uh uh, uh publish these Bibles, man. They actually link up the the they actually link up the precepts, man. You know, so just showing you we on point, but you got these dumbass Christians, right, popping up talking about we're talking out our ass, man. Which you got apps and and other uh other reference Bibles. That's that's showing you, or, or or linking up other precepts, man. Hey, so with that, hey man, giving all praise and glory to you. How about shout shout about Shimmer Cracker Dash, double honor to the L's GMS salutations to all the argument that that's wishing is true. Also, shalom to the rest of the whole for elect peace.